Anytime I've ever been lean in the past, I was damn near almost living off cod. Welcome to another high protein food I've eaten people. If you haven't gathered, what we're making today is breakfast tacos. Instead of beef though, we're gonna go with chicken fillets. Uh, technically, when you do buy this, it does come with some seasonings, but as you just saw, I just prefer to use my own. Ultimately, it's up to you, but the main reason I bought this simply because I wanted the taco shells. But yeah, so what I'm doing is cooking the chicken first because that will take the longest. And next off, all I'm gonna do is basically then cook the bacon and chop up some of the veg. Oh, and obviously cook the eggs as well. All right, here we have it. So here we have the breakfast bowl, two fully loaded breakfast tacos here. We got eggs, peppers, spring onions, we got red onions, bacon, and we got obviously chicken fillets. There is still actually more chicken. I'll just eat that on the side. I don't really feel like having another shell for the sake of it. All right, so let's give this a taste test. As for the calories for the two tacos, plus the chicken fillets that's still in here, we're looking at roughly around 620 calories, 88 grams of protein, 22 grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs. All right guys, quick and simple snack here. So what we got is roughly around 250 grams of raspberries and one large banana. The first meal was super high in protein, so I can just have like a nice large snack that's not really dependent on protein. So I'm just gonna have this now as I do some work on my laptop. So right now what I'm gonna do is go to the gym. So yeah, today's probably gonna be a push day. Uh, I'm probably not gonna bring the camera because you guys for the most part wanna see food. Also, today's pre-workout choice is gonna be the pre-workout gummies. I'm gonna have about three of these. I just don't feel like having the powder. Anyways, I'll see you guys in roughly probably about two hours from now when I show you guys the next meal. All right, folks, we are back. I am shattered. Anyways, what we're gonna have is, by the way, I'm using wires because my headphones run out of battery. First time using wired headphones in mad long. Anyways, the first thing we're gonna have is a protein shake. We're gonna go with the same one as last time, which is half a scoop of cherry drops and half a scoop of the raspberry lemonade in the, um, the clear way. I think there's a sale on as well. So I'll put the sale link in the description box. By the way, if you have any other flavors in this that you think is good, let me know in the comments. I think someone told me about the peach tea, so I'm contemplating ordering a peach tea to see if it's actually decent. All right, so after I have this, I'm gonna plan out what I'm gonna cook. I have a rough idea what I'm gonna have next, but overall, to be honest, I don't meal prep or plan things anymore. I used to meal prep in the early days, like maybe two or three dinners, but I don't like meal prepping a full day worth of food because I may change my mind and overall it just means you're eating the same thing every day. Like meal prepping is good if you want to stay really on track. Like if I was competing or something, I would meal prep because it allows you to stay on track. It's very optimal to make sure you hit your protein and your food's ready. But if you're just a normal person going on a day by day thing, I like being a little bit more free. Still aim to have a high protein diet, but I wouldn't specifically have a very structured, boring way of eating every day because you'll get sick of it after a while. Oh, I needed that. For that most of my workout, I was just drinking water. I needed flavor. All right, folks, we are back for a meal. Um, my girl just went food shopping, so there is actually more stuff to play with if I wanted to. Oh, you guys probably never ever actually see me drink pop. Occasionally, if I do drink fizzy drinks, apple tango is the one. The calories are always super low. Anyways, I'm gonna actually have something nice and light because I don't actually feel that, that hungry. But my girl bought the, these Shazan's salt and pepper chicken thighs. And typically we always season chicken ourselves. Like we normally buy it plain, but they smell all right. So she's put some in now so you can hear the air fryer. Ooh, she's put in three. So I may have one of them. But that isn't like what I was gonna cook. So what I'm gonna have now is what I've been craving all day, bagels. And what we're gonna have is two whole eggs with it. Uh, typically, on a full day, I normally don't have more than like three whole eggs in a day, but I've been craving this, but we didn't have any bagels this morning, but the fact she's bought some, we are going to have two nice runny eggs on a bagel. This is delicious. 
This mixed with the clear whey protein that I'm still drinking should equate, if I remember my calories in my head, roughly to around 40 grams of protein. This will be around 20 grams of protein and two whole eggs plus the bagel should be around 18 or 19 grams of protein because these bagels, I'm pretty sure, are like nine or 10 grams of protein. Yeah, 10 grams of protein. So this is basically one of the reasons why you should always get to a point where you can kind of memorize roughly the calories and macros of the foods you eat on a daily basis. Cause then you can track foods without having to like manually pull out the calculator all the time to track it. One thing I will say, my girl will put her food on in the oven and totally forget to come jerk on it. She does this often and she'll end up coming back. We like blackened. But yeah, so now what I'm just waiting for is the eggs to thoroughly cook so I can have my bagel. Also, speaking of eggs, I also got my girl a Hershey's cookies and cream Easter egg. So I'm looking forward to having those bars. All right, so as it stands, my egg is basically, I would say 95% to the point I want it, but I've took it off the heat for a bit just because that chicken my girl's cooking smells good, so I've decided that I am having it. So what I'm doing is look at the macros to add it in. The key thing to remember when you scan a packet of food, make sure you check. So for example, when I've scanned this chicken packet, it says an oven cooked serving. So the macros are providing, that's also on my fitness file for this specifically. It's talking about when it's cooked, not when it's raw. And the calories are different when it's raw than when it's cooked. So remember that. So I've got to now wait until the chicken's basically cooked, put it on my scale and see the weight. Sometimes people ask like, does that mean with the bone? Typically it means with the bone, unless like the person's put boneless specifically, they normally weigh with the bone because that's how most people will weigh the chicken thighs in pieces. Oh yeah, that's looking good. With the addition of the chicken, this seems like such a random meal now. It's kind of like I'm eating the whole family actually now, isn't it? Because the eggs and the chicken. But yeah, so whole wheat bagel, a little bit of a runny egg. Make sure the whites of the egg is definitely solid. Like the whites of the egg shouldn't be like gooey. Only the yolk should be nice and somewhat jellyish. Right, so as for the calories and macros now, with the addition of the chicken as well, that moves up to 65 grams of protein, 32.8 grams of fat, 50.4 grams of carbs, and overall 770 calories. So it makes the meal a lot more high calorie, and that's mainly because in that one piece of chicken alone, the fat comes up to almost 19 grams. That's simply because of the skin. If you took away the skin, that may take off like eight or nine grams of fat. But if you're someone that loves the skin, have on your chicken all the time, that's fine. Just know it's gonna be more calories. Typically, I'd normally chop it off, or if I had three pieces, I would chop it off, say at least two of them, and then one of them I'd keep it on if I really want it. Taste test. Not bad. Not bad for pre-season chicken. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10 for a pre-season chicken out of the packet. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna finish this right now. I've basically finished the clay way. And I'll come back to you guys when I make the next meal. All right, next up, the meal we're making is fish and chips. So we got the potatoes all chopped up. To be honest, I'm not gonna eat all of that. It's about 400 grams, I think. But I know my girl's gonna have some. She says she's not hungry, but 9.9 .9 times out of 10, every time I make some food after my girl says she's not hungry, she always eats some of them. So I'll probably have about 300 grams of it. Uh, but anyways, what we're making now is fish. And this is something that I can't lie, I am not looking forward to simply because I've kind of gone off cod. I've been eat I've eaten so much for so many years and I've just kind of fell off it now, but I'm trying to get myself back into it because cod is such a good source of protein. It's very high protein, very low calorie, and it's very light on the stomach. Anytime I've ever been lean in the past, a lot of the times I was damn near almost living off cod. It just tastes, when you cook it properly, it tastes really good and it's just, so light on the stomach to digest and as I said, low calorie. So I'm trying to get myself back into having it because it is a very good source of protein. Plus today in particular, when I look over the foods I've had today in my head, I already know that I've been eating higher fat foods. For example, in total today I've had four whole eggs. I've had a piece of chicken with the skin, which by itself was like higher fat content than usual. So I know my fat intake for the day is probably 
roughly where it probably should be already because they always shoot for around between 40 and 60 grams i'm pretty sure that i'm in that realm already so ideally for the rest of the day i want to be eating things that are like low in fat uh, just so it doesn't push my calories way too high so obviously cod would be a good option there so basically that's where my brain's at but anyways i'm gonna wash the fish now and get ready to cook it All right, folks, and the food is almost done. The potatoes is like 95% done. Uh, the cod's probably about seven, eight minutes out. So what I'm gonna do now is have a nice glass of the apple tango. Uh, luckily, because I've done it before, I know virtually filling this almost to the top is a can of apple tango. So that's like around 330 milliliters. I'm gonna have virtually a can. Ooh, I was wrong. A can of apple tango, sugar-free, is actually 13 calories and the potatoes they're more or less done i'm just going to leave them in there though to kind of steam so the inside gets a bit soft because sometimes when you air fry potatoes if the heat's too high the outside gets nice and hot but the inside is still a bit firm i like it being a bit softer so i put it back in there and leave it in there all the heat in there will kind of steam up and then make the inside you know softer we've got the chunky chips and we've got the cards all chopped up that's around 250 grams of cod cooked and this is 400 grams of potato and i'm going to give about a quarter of it to my girl because i know she can eat some also shout out to philly soon uh, as for the cod put in a little bit of lemon it really does taste good i'm about to go eat this and go watch an episode of bleach because i've started that anime i thought you know what might as well i've watched so many animes now I might as well watch bleach Currently only on like episode 27. So based off the portion that I'm gonna eat, which is 300 grams of potato and all the cod, I'm gonna eat all the cod myself. We are looking at around 53 grams of protein, three grams of fat and 70 grams of carbs. And it comes up to 521 calories. That is not bad. Like we're very low fat and we're very high protein here. So I'm looking forward to snack on this as I watch my anime. And you guys know I always have something sweet after my meals. After I finish eating this, I might as well show you what I'm gonna have now. I'm gonna have one of these Fiber One Donuts. I love these, these are delicious. Personally, I don't like the strawberry one. I know some people recommend it in the other video, but personally, I just like the chocolate one. They're like roughly what, around 80, 90 calories per one, but they taste really, really good. They're not really big though, but if you just want a quick, sweet or chocolatey treat, these little donuts taste really, really good. They actually taste pretty close to like a normal donut. If I had to give them a taste factor, I'd say nine out of 10 personally, this flavor. What I will probably have as well, is another glass of the apple juice that'll put me at 26 calories. So for the day, this roughly puts us at 2,200 calories and the total macros comes up to 210 grams of protein, 63 grams of fat and 188 grams of carbs. So anyways, people feel free to put down suggestions for what amount of calories you'd like to see me do next. Maybe it's something you eat so I can kind of hit the macros and give you an idea of what food you can eat. 